Peter? Where could that little boy be? Violet? Oh, hi, Jake. You startled me. Are you looking for your little brother Peter again? Yes. I'm pretty sure he's over by the horse pen. Oh, goody. What's in the gift box, if you don't mind me asking? A present for my little brother. It's a beautiful green halter, and it's a training one, so it has like special little nose bands. I'm kind of in love with it myself. So I'm gonna be heading off then. All right. Oh, and Violet, yeah? Uh, if you find Carl, tell him there's gonna be a major rainstorm today, so they might not wanna pick up the horses today. Oh. I don't think that's going to stop them from picking up the horses. They have their hearts set on it. Well, they better do it sooner rather than later because it's going to be coming soon. Okay, I'll do my best. All right, see ya. See ya too. Hi there, Peter, my little horse watcher. Hi, Violet. What's that? A gift for you. Ooh, I'm getting a gift today? Why? It's nothing special today. You're getting your very first horse. Of course it's something special. I'm so excited to find out what's inside this box. Just a little warning, Peter. It might not be exactly what you think it is. What do you think I think it is? Hmm, <laughs> you'll find out. It's not the gift that's what's important. It's the idea. The idea of giving someone something they don't have and the time and effort they put into it. That's right, Peter. I'm so excited to find out. Can I open it now? Sure, go right ahead. Ooh, it's one of those things you put on a horse's face, but it doesn't have a, a bit in it. So it's called a halter, right? Yep. Ooh, it's really pretty, but I know it's not blue. They only had green available that I knew you'd really like. Otherwise, they just had like brown and black. I really like it. It'll actually go with Willow really nicely because Willow reminds me of the color green for some reason. Probably because Willow is a tree. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Trees have branches. Branches have leaves. Leaves are sometimes green. All right, well, you enjoy it. Have you seen Carl? No? Well, I know he's around here somewhere, but he told me to meet him by the community center, the main area, at one o'clock after lunch. Okay. Okay. Are you having lunch with him? Yeah, so I'll be there before one o'clock. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Oh, reason why I wanted to talk to Carl is there's a major storm coming, so tell him that. Okay. Hi there, Carl. Hi there, Peter. Let's hurry up and eat lunch and then we can get going. Okay, are you gonna be ordering? Nope, I brought my own lunch. What do you have there? Oh, it's a horse halter my sister bought me. Wow, very nice. It's a training one. You can tell between the nose bands on the two knots on it. Oh, make it very nice for training. Good. All right, let's hurry up and eat and then we can go. Okay. Well, that's some fun music. Thank you. It's for next week's Halloween festival. Having a Halloween festival next week? I was unaware of that too. Well, I'm sure you're gonna wanna join that. Totally. It just means hanging out with my friends, getting candy, being here with more horses, and of course, my horse. All right, you done? Yep, I'm done eating. Let's go get the horses. All right, boy, let's go. Into the vehicle I go. It just feels like there's something I'm forgetting to do. But what? Oh, Peter? Yes? I need to go reserve the round pens for the new horses. Okay. So I'll be right back and then we can go. Okay. I feel like there's something I should be telling you as well. Hmm, can't remember. Must not have been that important then. All right, buddy, we have made it here. Yay, I can't wait to go see my Willow. 
All right, he told me he would be doing some farm work, so I'm gonna go say hi to him and tell him we are taking his horses and I shall be giving him the checks as well before we get the horses. So do not go say hello to Willow just yet. But we're standing in the barn. Don't do it, and I mean it. Okay, I'll wait right here. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Waiting. Waiting in the barn, waiting in the barn. Not supposed to say hi to my horsey. Uh, oh, I know what I can do. I'll go grab her halter and lead rope and get it ready. There you are, Carl. What have you been doing, Peter? Nothing. I just went and got my halter and lead rope. I picked a rainbow lead rope out for Willow because all girls seem to like rainbow. I don't know if that's true. Is that true? No, it's not true. Okay. Anyways, I picked out Rainbow and it matches her green halter. And I got the trailer all ready to load the horses in. And I didn't say hi to Willow. Okay. Now we can go grab the horses. I've had experience now, so I can go get my horse by myself. Okay, but I'll watch you. And I can load her myself this time. Yes, you may load the horse. What do you mean by this time? Well, I've loaded horses in the trailer before, but they won't ever do it by myself. Someone always has to be in the trailer. No, I will not be standing in the trailer. You can put the horse in yourself this time. Yes! I'm so excited. I'm going to go get Willow now. Okay, we'll load her up first. Then we will get Lakota. There you go, sweet girl. We drove all tied on. I know you don't know me very well, but I promise we'll be best friends very shortly. Hopefully I tied the lead rope on properly. Eh, it's fine. What's just plain fine? Nothing. It's okay to tell me. It's okay to not be right all the time. Okay, is her lead rope on properly? Yep, and it's tied on properly. Good job. All right, let's get her in. Okay. All right, good girl. You go on that side, I'll go on this side. Good girl, Willow. All right, good girl, keep coming. Good boy, Peter. Go ahead and then just go out the little door on the side and come on back around to me. Okay. Do, do, do. Your turn, Carl. You're already a horse trailer loader expert. I didn't know you could be an expert at that, but you're not quite finished. You need to put the little bar so she can't walk backwards when we open up the trailer door. Okay. All done. Even moved the other one out of your way. Thanks. And in the trailer, she goes too. And these two darlings are ready to head to Blue River Ranch. Don't worry, girls. You'll have a safe ride. Hopefully. All right. The horses are all safe and sound. Let's get going. We're almost back to Blue River Ranch, Peter. Don't worry. Okay. Here's the plan, Peter. Just back the horses up, or back your horse up, unclip her lead rope, and just let her go in the pen. I originally reserved both with this downpour. I think we both just want to go inside. He said they've been out in the paddock together before, so they should be just fine. Let's hurry up and get this done, because I am soaked. Me too. There you go, Willow. Welcome to very wet Blue River Ranch. See you later. All right, there you two girls go. Peter, go ahead and head inside. I bet you're soaked, bud. I am in the cold. All right, let's hurry up and go inside. Peter, there you are. I'm beginning to get worried about you. I'm fine. You look soaked. I am and yeah, cold. Oh, I'm gonna go upstairs and make you a bed and let's get those dirty, wet clothes off you. Okay. Peter, yeah? Well, your sister's upstairs making your bed. 
Where's Carl? He should be coming in the door any second. Okay. There you are, Carl. Yeah, forgot to close the horse trailer all up. Didn't want it to get soaked inside. I'm sorry, Carl. I could have helped you with that. It's okay. You need to get inside. I didn't want you to get too cold. It is fall. Yeah, it is. There you go, Peter. You okay? Yeah. Pretty sure we'll be spending the night. I'll tell Mom and Dad. It's really dark in here. I'm sorry, I don't know if they have any night lights. I will promise I'll be like just down the hall. Okay? It'll be just fine. Okay? I'm gonna go tell the others. Okay. Sleep nice. I will try. Goodbye. Bye. Me and my little brother will be spending the night here. If you two want to spend the night with us, that's okay. We'll be taking over the upstairs beds. Sorry. No, no. A couch will be perfectly fine for me. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I can sleep down here on a sofa. Alright. Yeah, I suppose if you want to go home, you can go home. I'm not driving that weather again. I'm not that confident of driving in this kind of weather. Okay. See you two in the morning. All right. Have a good night. Violet, I'll try. Hey there, Peter. Hi, Violet. Look how good Willow's doing. I don't even have to use a bit and bridle on her. Just the fancy new halter you gave me. Wow, you do look good on her. And I haven't even met this wonderful horse of yours. She is a very dark silver bay. It appears the darker the horse, the lighter the mane. She is cute and gorgeous. Do you know what breed she is? No idea of that thing, sister. For all I know, she's just a wonderful horse. And look at the braids. They're wonderful. Did you do them? No. One of the little girls here helped me do it. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to ask you, do you want to go to the Halloween festival tonight? Yes, yes I do. Totally. Careful there, Peter. You don't want to spook her. Don't worry. She seems bomb-proof. She wouldn't flinch if a fly landed on her eyeball. Ooh. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Probably isn't. But still, I don't think anything is going to scare Willow. Well, that's good. So, but anyways, it's going to be starting soon. So if you want to come, let's hurry up and go. Pretty much almost everyone's there. Okay. Bye-bye, Willow. See you tomorrow. Thanks for the wonderful ride. Violet, I bet I'll beat you to the Halloween festival. All right, you do that. All right, see you there. Oh, Tanya, is this horse as great as my brother proclaims? Oh, yes, she is wonderful. She truly does not spook at much, if anything. Your brother could throw balls on top of her and she could care less. Wow, I wonder how she got that way. Rocky spooks at a lot of things, almost everything. It's quite jumpy and then very moody on top of it. Or just because she's a girl? No, I don't believe so. I believe someone just spent a lot of time training her. That's all. Okay. Well, see you later. You too. Alright, I saved a seat for you, Matt. Thank you. It's about to start. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's Halloween festival. We're not doing a trail ride this year just because there weren't that many participants, but we did make some wonderful apple pies, cupcakes, there's some lemonade, and some soup. Pretty much you all can just chat and hang out and enjoy tonight. I know we didn't do a costume party either, but enjoy yourselves no matter what this spooky night might hold. I bet something big is going to go down by it. Oh, you do? Yes. Lakota, Lakota? Yes, Willow? I'm getting a very weird vibe. 
What do you mean? I feel like there's something behind me. I know I don't spook it much, but I have this strange feeling. Something is watching me. Yeah, there is. What is it? A ghost horse. I need out of here. Please don't be afraid of me. I just am looking for a friend. I only come out on Halloween and everyone just shrieks and screams at me. But you two seem different. Can we please just talk? Sure. I, I won't scream at all. I'm totally not afraid of ghosts. Willow, you are 100% afraid of them. Please don't be afraid. Not long ago was I much different than you. What do you mean? I was a horse, just like you. Once upon a time, you were? Yes. I used to be a Palomino, a beautiful one at that. What was your name? Goldie. That's cute. Yes. Thank you. What happened to you, Goldie? No, I just... Nothing special. I just died of old age. Why do you haunt Blue River Ranch? Well, Blue River Ranch didn't used to be this popular. It used to just be me and my friends. Oh. Yep. Yeah. It was once just a simple guy and his wife and me, the horse. Were you a draft horse? Yes, I was a Pershawn. Wow. Yes, I did my job and I loved my life. Oh, so there's nothing special about me. I'm just only allowed out during Halloween now. Do you know what happened to your friend? No, I assumed the same fate as me. Oh, do you know what her name was? Her name was Dinah. That's pretty. What if you just shouted Dinah? I've never tried that. I don't know why I haven't, but I can give it a go. Dinah! Dinah, it's me, Goldie. Are you out too? Goldie? Is that you? Dinah! Lakota, is it okay if I trade places with you? Trade places with me? Yeah, you'll teleport and stand exactly where I am and you'll... And I'll be where you are. Uh, sure. Just like that. That was interesting. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. Me too. Oh my word, I thought I would never see you again. Equally. This is gonna make me cry now. Toughen up, Willow. Toughen up like the tree you are. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry sweet happens. Thank you two so much for helping me find my sister. We really didn't do anything. We just told you to call for her. But I'll take the credit for it. Oh, thank you so much. I just want to spend time with her just standing in the round pen like we used to. Eating grass, and running in the field, and working like we used to. Blue Ranch has changed so much. Even its name must just be simple Farmer's Ranch. This is sweet. Two, two best friends be together again. I imagine it's kind of like us. Who knows, maybe in the next whatever years, we'll be like them. Probably. Hopefully not super soon. I still have tons of writing to do with my new owner. Peter? Yes, Peter. You two enjoy the time you have as friends, because you'll never know when it lasts. That's for sure. We will have a wonderful Halloween. We will have a wonderful Halloween indeed. Did you have a good Halloween, Peter? I did. I thought something really big would go down, like something creepy. But it didn't. No ghost showed up. Nothing. Just normal. I just played with the little doggies that were there. 
and candy, had soup, talked to you, talked to Carl. Nothing super exciting happened. Kind of boring. What did you think would happen? Like I said, I thought a ghost would appear or something, or they would do some sort of silly prank, but they didn't. Is that all bad? No, but I'm certainly ready to go home and go to bed. Me too. Right. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Psalms 23, 4.